The yellow stains on the toilet seat will disappear within minutes. The toilet will be white again without using harmful detergents. Do you have such stains on the underside of the seat? Many people struggle to remove them. They form due to the deposition of urine and water droplets during flushing. Urine stains the seat, and the limescale formed by the water can initially be invisible, then gradually take on a slightly yellowish color. If you clean the toilet and seat with strong detergents, its surface may be damaged and more susceptible to various stains. But there's a trick to it. Just make a homemade paste. The stains and discolorations will vanish. The toilet will be white again. This method saves me in such situations. I don't have to replace the seat with a new one yet. Take baking soda and pour it into a container. Add some hydrogen peroxide to it, just enough to create a paste. Mix it. It's best to use an old toothbrush for this. It's perfect for applying this substance to stains. The baking soda and hydrogen peroxide paste should be thick enough to stick to the stains. Leave it on the toilet for about 10 minutes. During this time, the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide will dissolve the stains. Then just remove everything, wipe it with paper, and you're done. Pour this foaming mixture into the toilet and see what happens. This trick is used by housekeepers in five-star hotels. Thanks to it, you can clean even a heavily soiled toilet literally without scrubbing. The bubbling foam will do all the work for you. Pour five tablespoons of laundry detergent into a bowl. Then add five tablespoons of salt. It has disinfectant and strong cleaning properties. Due to its properties, Salt can successfully replace harmful chemicals in many situations. Add 50 milliliters of vinegar to the powder. It excellently eliminates bacteria, germs, and mold. It can even tackle very old deposits of lime scale that often accumulate under the rim of the toilet bowl. Mix everything together. The mixture will start reacting and foaming immediately. This combination of ingredients acts like an invisible brush. Just pour it into the toilet. It's worth pouring it on the walls as well. Then leave it for several minutes. The active foam will dissolve water deposits and disinfect the inside of the toilet. The bathroom will be filled with a fresh, clean scent in just a few minutes. Discover the secrets of the toilet brush that you probably didn't know about. Unscrew the brush and pour some liquid into it. By cleaning the toilet, you'll immediately have a brush with a liquid that will clean the inside of the toilet bowl. But that's not the only hidden function of such a brush. There's also a brilliant reason why it's worth using such a brush to scrub the floors in the bathroom. Such a brush is perfect for this purpose. We're not talking about the toilet brush you use every day. We only use that brush for cleaning the toilet. But there's a reason why it's worth having a second brush. A new one. Such a brush with stiff bristles has another good use. Prepare a container and pour baking soda into it. Add a small amount of water. Mix the baking soda with water to create a paste. Baking soda is a slightly abrasive substance. It cleans stains, gently whitens, kills mold, and absorbs moisture. Dip the new toilet brush into the baking soda solution. Apply it to the tiles, focusing on the grout lines. Begin gently scrubbing them. The baking soda will slowly start to work, dissolving dirt, stains, and killing mold if it's on the grout lines. The brush with such stiff bristles will perfectly remove all that dirt. Leave the soda on the grout lines for some time, then wipe the tiles with a cloth. After they dry, you'll notice the difference between the grout lines. You clean it with soda and the rest. You can see the difference for yourself. You can see which grout lines were dirty before cleaning and which ones are now clean. And it's all thanks to backing soda and the toilet brush. Apply shaving foam to the broom. Although it may seem strange, this trick is currently trending on the internet. It turns out that shaving foam has a brilliant application in the bathroom. Grab a regular broom, which you probably already have at home, Apply shaving foam to it on both sides, covering all the bristles. A broom prepared in this way will be a lifesaver for older individuals or those with spinal problems. Just flip it and spread the foam on the floor around the toilet. 
This is undoubtedly one of the poorest parts of the bathroom and often difficult to reach. This foam is like soapy foam with a higher content of potassium hydroxide, so it works excellently. Apply it generously, and the broom's bristles will distribute it even into the smallest crevices. Next, cover the toilet seat, bowl, and sides with foam. It will effectively deal with yellow stains and unpleasant odors. Leave it all for 15 minutes. After this time, rinse off the foam with warm water. Immediately, you'll see that the tiles and toilet shine. A pleasant fragrance will linger in the bathroom, lasting even for a few days after cleaning. The foam also cleans the grout without unnecessary scrubbing. Mix and place it in an empty toilet hanger. A homemade cube will work in any toilet. Is your toilet hanger empty? Don't have a new one. You don't have to rush to the store right away. You can prepare your own insert for such a hanger. Pour about three quarters of a cup of water into a pan or pot. Add a tablespoon of cornstarch or potato starch. Mix it in cold water to dissolve. Now start heating the container. Stir and bring the mixture to a boil. It should be quite thick. To the resulting mixture, add a packet of citric acid. Mix the citric acid with the mixture until it completely dissolves. Add a generous amount of detergent. It can be dishwashing liquid or laundry detergent. Finally, you can add essential oil, for example, tea tree oil. Mix everything well. Transfer to a smaller container. Cover the area with foil for hygiene. Prepare an empty toilet hanger. Take a disposable spoon. Use it to apply the mixture to the hanger. And it's ready. Hang the hanger in the toilet and flush the waiter. The deterrent and citric acid will gently clean its interior. The toilet will be cleaner and fresher. Recipe for homemade grout cleaner. After 15 minutes, they looked like new. It's incredibly effective and budget-friendly. The results are fantastic. In a bowl, pour four tablespoons of baking soda. Add one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. Finally, add a teaspoon of dish soap. Mix everything to achieve a paste-like consistency. Dirt, mold, and dust accumulate on grout lines. Their rough surface makes cleaning them difficult and time-consuming. Instead of scrubbing the grout with a brush, it's better to use the paste trick. Apply a thick layer of the mixture on dirty grout lines. Use a toothbrush for this purpose. The paste must cover the entire surface thoroughly. Leave it on for 15 minutes. If the grout lines are very dirty, you can extend this time up to an hour. After this time, remove the paste, wipe the floor with a wet cloth, and leave the grout lines. When they dry, you'll see a colossal difference. They'll regain their original color, and you won't have to scrub them. They'll be clean and mold-free. In the recording, you can see how huge the difference is. On the left is the grout cleaned with the paste, and on the right is the dirty grout. I do this once every few months, and my bathroom looks like new.